Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at the energies and the vibes that needs to come to the forefront of your mind. As usual, we're looking at the blockages that the divine is wanting to bring to your attention. And so Capricorn, the divine is saying that it's a divine loving energy that is around you. And for some of you, you are so invested in your suffering. You are so invested in whatever experience that you're currently having that you are not even noticing that warm, loving energy that is around you. The divine is literally saying to you that I am here, ready to assist you, ready to help you. What do you need? And for some of you, you are not even noticing your head is so buried in this struggle right now. So it is important for you to lift up your head and to start communicating with the divine, saying your prayers so that you can release anything that is bringing that darkness, that heaviness into your life. The light that is around you is more powerful than the darkness, the heaviness that is there. So don't allow yourself to lose yourself to the struggle. It is time to step in to the new beginnings that are waiting for you. The weakness position, you're receiving our card that is saying to you, Capricorn, as we've been saying for the last couple of weeks, there are new beginnings, there are new chapters. Start stepping into the energy of writing what you're grateful for, what you're thankful for, so that you can lift up your energies from that darkness, from that heaviness. Because that darkness and heaviness creates a weakness. It stops you believing that change can truly happen. You don't see how that change can happen. And because of that, you lose faith. You lose the power, the spark, the inspiration to keep going. And so the divine is saying, I am here. Notice me, feel me, see me. And in doing so, you can now start having a conversation with the divine about whatever struggles that you're experiencing and then giving those struggles over so that you can start moving and shifting into the new chapter and the new beginning that is here. Because the divine is saying the new beginnings, the new chapters are waiting for you. But when you truly don't believe, when your faith is weak, then the new beginnings also become weak because they're not able to have the power, the energy, the light to come in to your current experience, to be around you, okay? So we're going to be looking at what you need to release and let go of. And for you, the divine is saying it is time to stop, to stop doubting what you're truly feeling in your gut. Let go of the doubt that you have. Your gut feeling has been talking to you about a situation for a long time. And because maybe the decisions that you have to make, they are hard, they are heavy. You feel disempowered to make those decisions. You remain sitting there. You remain praying that, you know, a miracle will just happen. But sometimes you have to actually start getting up. And taking the first steps towards what it is that you want. You go first. And then the miracles will happen as you are moving, as you're shifting. But when you are just sitting here, praying for the new beginnings to happen without any of your input, without any effort, without you having to change anything, that is not realistic. So the divine is saying your gut feeling has been telling you for a long time that there are new beginnings that are waiting for you. So it is time to just get up and to start walking in faith because divine presence, divine timing is waiting for you to make those first moves and divine will meet you halfway there. In the strength position, let's have a look to see what you are receiving. In the strength position, the divine is saying, there you go, checkmate. As we have spoken, as we have been having this conversation, as I already said, when we're talking about this energy, divine presence is around you, 
because right now you are working with divine timing. Changes are wanting to manifest and to come into your life connected to your wishes coming true, allowing the new beginnings, the new chapters to open. But you feel like this. The more you feel like this, the more these wishes turn into situations that keep on confirming that this is what life is. So it is important for you to shift how you are thinking and more than that, how you are feeling. And in your shifting of how you're feeling, this is when you start bringing in the positive vibration to be around you. And then you start seeing the seeds of your manifestations become a reality. But you need to understand that life will carry on confirming what you are thinking, especially in your subconscious mind and moreover, what you are feeling because everything that you experience has to be an energetic match to what is going on within you because this magnetization energy is like you understanding that you're a magnet and if the other magnet is pointing north and is trying to click to a magnet pointing south it will not work Try to get two magnets and face them the wrong way around and try to stick them together. They don't work. They don't magnetize. They understand that the vibration, the pull has to be equal, has to be the same for the magnet to stick together. So as your wishes are coming true, be ready to be the magnet that pulls them into your experience. I hope that I'm explaining that in an easy and simple way for you to understand because indeed there are new beginnings and blessings that are waiting to magnetize themselves into your life, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to be getting some tarot cards on the table and as usual, I always take this time to let you know of what I am working on, what I am doing and we are currently focusing my energies right now on doing our TikTok life cleanses. We're doing this every single day. And I know that we have been getting some great results. We've been experiencing interesting cleanses happening. And it has been interesting to watch. I'm sure people who've come to watch the TikToks can comment in the comment section below and tell you what it is all about. But moreover, above that, just come and watch for yourself. So my TikTok account is linked in the description box below. Go on TikTok, follow me, and then click on the notification bell, press all. And then when I'm going live, you will be notified. And then you can come and watch and join in if you will feel like it and have conversations with the other people that are amazing in the comment section. So it's a whole vibe that is over there, a little tribe that is creating just beautiful connections over on TikTok. And if you feel that you need your own cleansing done, then you can go to my website. You can purchase your cleanse. And on the day that you've chosen, you can come and watch it being performed live, giving you an opportunity to ask questions, giving you an opportunity to see everything as they are happening right in front of your eyes. So I'm looking forward to either welcoming you to be part of the TikTok family or doing your cleanses for you. So now we have our tarot cards on the table, no major arcana cards, which is good. So everything that we spoke about really is being confirmed with our tarot cards. So you can see our card saying that there's divine presence around you, okay? But there are blockages because you really don't believe that what you're praying for can happen, will happen, has already happened. It is like literally you need to come in and go into that portal, into the new experience that you're praying for. Because you know that time and space doesn't really exist like that. You can shift from one experience into another experience just like that. There's a film called... Oh, let me think for a moment. There's been many films that have been created that explain what I'm trying to say. But there's a film called uh, Here, Now, Everywhere, something like that. 
people in, in the comment section, you can comment the film name. Everywhere, all at once, the, like a name like that. And so this film really explains that you as the individual, you are just not having this one experience. There are many experiences. There are many timelines that are all happening all at the same time. And you get to choose which timeline you're wanting to experience. And so for you, you're understanding that you can choose to identify with the darkness and the struggle. Or you can finally step into the light, into that portal, and you can come in and enjoy your wishes being fulfilled. Ten of Cups, one of my favorite cards. So what is blocking you? What is stopping you from coming over to this energy? Capricorn, only you can say, okay? And I've already explained to you about your emotions, your vibration, and being an energetic match, okay? It is like trying to, to speak to me. And I say, hey, this is my number. And you're dialing some other random number and you're not getting through to me. And I keep giving you the same signal, the same coordinates. And you keep on ending up over there because you're putting in the incorrect number or the incorrect coordinates. So you have to come to the right coordinates so that we can meet. You have to dial the right number so that you can talk to me, right? So equally, it is the same type of energy where you know exactly where you want to be, where you know exactly what your heart desires. And the divine is saying the coordinates are here, right? This is the coordinates. Come to these coordinates and you arrive at these coordinates through your feelings, through being an energetic match vibrationally. This is what brings you to this portal, to this energy where you're able to make that shift into the new experience, into the new reality that you're currently praying for. So again, I really am hoping that I'm explaining that in many different ways that suddenly, boom, the penny drops and you understand what it is all about. Connected to those new chapters and new beginnings that are waiting for you. So the divine is saying to you again, you have to be a vibrational match to receive what you're praying for. You have to balance your energies and understand that you have to go on that journey and arrive at the right co coordinates for you to receive the blessings that are already here waiting for you. And they are endless. So it is time to go on that quest to get to the right point energetically, vibrationally, so that finally we can be in that element of working with divine timing and with divine presence to shift you to the new experience. So again, the divine is wanting you to understand that it is time to silence your mind, your ego, those voices that keep on saying, mm, is it that easy though? Oh, but this, whatever your, your, your mind is chattering away saying, take notice of what your mind is saying because it will reveal to you what your subconscious mind believes. You can do affirmations until you're blue in the face and if your subconscious mind doesn't believe, it will not inspire your conscious mind to make the shift. So it is time to understand, to hear what your subconscious mind is saying and how you are ending up in situations like this. So it is interesting that we have our energies that are there and the people's expressions are very similar. Step away from the energy of worry, of stress, overthinking. Find ways of silencing the mind. And in silencing the mind, this will give you an opportunity to eavesdrop on your subconscious mind. And then this will make you finally see the program that is running everything. The program that is in your subconscious mind that is creating challenging situations by default. Okay, go and reprogram everything so that we can have a different output 
into your reality. So again, divine is saying new beginnings, new chapters are here. Okay. It is time for you to realize that to go on the journey, your guides and your ancestors will be here helping you carry that heavy load, talking to you and helping you get to the right coordinates that we spoke about. So come and journey with your guides and your ancestors and come and arrive to this place where you are now ready to leave everything behind and to enter into a new experience where life feels good, where divine presence is all around you, where the new chapters and the new beginnings are not just a mere promise. You are now living that experience and it is good. So this is the message that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, comment the little rainbow emoji in the comment section below. And again, I hope to see you on TikTok. And I hope that if you need your own cleansing done, you will come and do what you need to do. It is up to you. So on that note, I'm going to see you very soon. And it is a goodbye from me.